Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So for today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about doubt and how we can turn that into determination and use it as fuel for our creative journey. So if you're anything like me, you're probably a little bit introverted. I know a lot of us who are creative are quite duck and we are quite introverted. And what that means is we like, uh, like um, working on our own projects and creating our art and spending time on our own and we just enjoy our own space really and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. A lot of people who are introverted, i found anyway, um, are quite highly sensitive. I'm definitely quite highly sensitive. I'm really sort of, I pick up on a lot of people's energy, their mood, if someone changes around me. Maybe that's female but I think it's because I'm a little bit sensitive as well. So those people around me um, can really really affect my energy levels, they can affect my mood, they can affect just my general vibe really. And not only that, the environment I'm in can also affect me and when I talk environment I just mean like you know whether even even down to the weather it's a beautiful day here today and I am in a really good mood it's really sunny but if it was raining or I was in like a really uncomfortable environment with people who are quite negative it would just put me in a really negative mood as well so my, I think what I'm trying to say is my mood and my general vibe is like affected by what's going on around me and not only um is it the physical people that are around me it's also with things that i see these days on social media that can definitely have an impact on how i'm feeling now obviously in 2020 we consume so much media we consume so much information online like we spend hours scrolling through social media and as technology moves forward social media is here to stay and i think we just as a generation you know we've accepted we've got used to it and um, you know i've put myself on youtube and on patreon and all these different avenues which like two years ago I never thought I would do. So many of us spend a lot of time, as I said, scrolling through social media and um, picking out on other people's lives all the time. We, you know, we're constantly downloading this content all the time like and I'm wondering obviously I mean downloading in our own head especially at the moment where we're all in this global pandemic we're spending more and more time at home we're spending more and, more and more time on technology and with other people via a screen now over like the last probably month to two months I've really become aware of what I'm consuming I'm realizing that I'm spending way too much time on social media and it's led me to feel really quite anxious and it's also made me kind of, kind of get these doubts in my head and um, I just basically start questioning what I'm doing a little bit and from there it, it made me start thinking about how I could change that like what can I do and how can I help other people who might be going through something similar and um, hopefully we, you know and my aim here is to try as I said like, try and turn that doubt into determination and use it as fuel for the tank I know I'm not alone in what I've been feeling I know like I've spoken to loads of people and I feel like we're all in kind of like a same boat we're all feeling a little bit unsure we're feeling a bit anxious we don't really know what we're doing um, and and maybe if you're quite early on in your art career you don't really know you know where to go and it can be so daunting putting your work online for the first time or even your first 50 or 100 posts it can still be really daunting sometimes when i do something completely new i still feel really really overwhelmed and i get really really i start questioning everything it can be so daunting to put your work on social media because where you're constantly consuming what you see like if you follow a lot of people who inspire you you're constantly seeing what other people are doing and it's really easy to put yourself in like a negative mind frame and think my work's not that good or I can't be like that person they're so successful etc and normally those people those people are posting to inspire you and to try and make you create but it kind of has like a counteract effect I feel like sometimes you'll see really really amazing work and you'll think I could never do that so why even bother or you might think like how how is that person doing it like they've only been going for like two three years and are so successful and it can really really like just make you feel unworthy almost. It goes without saying that the people you look up to the most had to start somewhere. And to be honest, probably most of them when they very first started, they were filled with so much doubt and uncertainty just like we're feeling right now. Now, one thing that really, really doesn't help is when the people around us don't know the best way of supporting us. So like our friends and family, if they're quite negative towards um, you doing art or being creative, it can be really, really hard to sort of like um, just keep showing up with your work when you kind of have like this negative reaction around you you know these people if they're not creative they find it really really hard to keep supporting someone who has like, all these creative ideas and aspirations because they physically don't understand a lot of the time my parents didn't understand when I wanted to be an artist they're super corporate and they just found it like what why does she want to do what she's doing and with all these feelings of like overwhelmingness and not really knowing what to do or like con constantly downloading all this content that we either get from around us with people who are sort of like telling us that you know go and get a proper job or whatever or like 
seeing people who are amazing at their craft online it is really really easy to like sit back and go well okay well where do I start how do I start and a lot of you a lot of us don't know where to start on that creative journey in order to make it successful even to this day five years online I've been a full-time artist I still make so many mistakes um daily mistakes as well some of them big some of them small uh, and I, I just I'm now looking at it like a bit of a learning curve you know whether it's with YouTube uh, whether it's with Patreon whether it's with focus camera and like making sure the cameras in focus whether it's lenses it like everything is a new uh, like a new new thing for me I'm just currently trying color pencil again on pastel mat and again it's a brand new thing for me and it's really easy to see other people who work with color pencil on pastel mat and feel really really uh, unsure and get so much self-doubt but it's really important that we use that doubt to fuel to you know fuel the determination that can come with it and sort of like changing the mindset a little bit because obviously your mindset as an artist is so important and you know you, anything is possible when you put your mind to it and you need to almost like change your mindset which I know is easier said than done but it's definitely definitely possible so I've come up with five um, things that you can do to try and change that doubt and try and turn that doubt into determination and the first thing that I came up with is give yourself some credit the doubt that you're feeling is generally on a subconscious level you know you don't you can't really you feel you feel anxious you feel doubt like you doubt yourself but you don't really know where it's stemming from you can't really pinpoint it so it's obviously on a subconscious level and that's why i feel a lot of the time it's the feelings of vulnerability of uncertainty or even fear of the unknown and not only of the unknown but fear of failure you know we don't want to put a lot of the time that stop us is we don't want to put ourselves out there and then get feel rejected or we don't get the right result or response from from whatever we're trying to achieve and these all feed into the feelings of not being able to handle what we're so afraid of you literally i know it sounds really like cliche but you really have to cement in your mind that you can do this whatever this may be now you've got to remember as well that it takes 21 times or 21 days to form a habit so you can't just wake up one day and go and you know your doubt is going to be erased it's almost like a complete mindset change you're going to get into the habit of saying i am capable i'm worthy i am all of these things and i am amazing and i can achieve this tell yourself yourself that every single day get into the habit of trying to praise yourself because at the end of the day a lot of the time a lot of the people around us don't understand um us introverts or you know, us creative people and um that sort of self-love has to come from within because sometimes a lot of the time as i said the people around you just don't understand so you need to tell as i said you need to tell yourself that you are strong you are capable you're powerful and you are creative and you can do whatever you set your mind to you just got to be patient you got to be passionate you got to have some drive behind it as well also you got to think back to times in the past when you've been when you faced a challenge and you've overcome those hurdles and you've succeeded and also think about the things that you do naturally on a daily basis you know you do them naturally because you're already good at it so think how amazing it would feel to be able to get up one day and just accept that you're creative you are creative and you can just do whatever you set your mind to you know maybe you won't be amazing the first time you try it but if you're like a swimmer for example the first time you got in a pool were you amazing no but you have to stick at it you have to get better you get better over time and time is everything but you need to get into the mindset of telling yourself that you are capable of whatever you set your mind like whatever you want to achieve you can achieve so the second point i've got is kind of relating to the first one that your mindset is absolutely everything you are whoever you believe yourself to be so if you tell yourself that you're rubbish and you tell yourself that you're never feeling really good then that's generally what you will start believing and it's generally not the case so in other words you've got to fake it till you make it five years down the line i still don't think that i really know what i'm doing and how to run a business but i'm showing up every single day and that's what i encourage so many of you guys who want to achieve and want to be creative to do as well life or at least the way we perceive our own life is generally based on our own perspective so who do you think you are what do you want to achieve how do you view yourself is the vision that you see of yourself have you given it to yourself or is it the people around you who have sort of crafted you to be this person you've really got to kind of i know it sounds like quite airy but you kind of got to like ask yourself who am i and why do i feel like this about myself like is it externally are these external beliefs that I've, I've been sort of given or or have they come from me so ask yourself where is the fear coming from your mindset is so adaptable to change and it's 
time to take back your own narrative. So my third point is just jump. Take the plunge and try not to think too much about what you're doing. Step outside your comfort zone with the curiosity of seeing how it will feel rather than aiming to perfect everything you set your mind to. Of course it's gonna feel uncomfortable and you're gonna be uncertain at first. And of course you probably won't like it either. It's gonna feel horrible. But that is generally just part of the experience. The longer you stay in fear, the longer it will take you to jump. And when you face challenges, you just gotta embrace them. You gotta learn from them and grow as an individual. They are there to help you and support you and you know, so embrace the challenges and be honest with yourself and use them as a way to learn and move forward. Admitting that you don't know everything isn't a sign of failure for sure. If anything, it's a, ta it's a chance to learn and improve and get better at the things that you're not so great at. My fourth point is learn as you go. As I said earlier, like I started this YouTube channel, I started the Patreon channel and I didn't have a clue what I was doing at all so you need to get used to learning as you go embrace the mistakes and if anything accept them and and will for them to come but you've got to stay consistent with willing to learn from your mistakes the worst thing you can do is making a mistake and then stopping yourself and going i'm rubbish and then you know, having to wait until build that confidence back up before you can come back in and go right okay i've i've got over that and now i'm ready you have to stay consistent you have to embrace the mistakes you have to brace embrace the failures almost and move forward you've almost got to self-talk your your way through your challenges take a moment to feel good when you accomplish something and the biggest thing for me is celebrate the victories big or small you know if you got your first 100 subscribers on youtube if you've got your first 50 instagram followers from your art account those are huge huge things and you need to celebrate them for sure go for dinner with your friend go and like celebrate with your the people you love go and ride your horse somewhere really nice, go and take your dog for a really nice walk, just do whatever makes you feel good and celebrate it and don't just brush it under the carpet as being like oh so and so's got so many thousands of followers or so and so achieved so much or earned so much a month, you know you have really, they had to start somewhere too. Don't be afraid to slow down and take your time with things, Rome wasn't built in a day. So break down those big overwhelming tasks and see them as a little bite sized manageable things that are going to form part of the bigger picture. The last thing I was going to say, and I think I touched on it previously with the celebrate big or small victories, you've got to reap the rewards. And these aren't only material rewards, but also take the time to reflect. Now you can use this, you can journal, you can go for a walk, you can talk to your friends and family about how far and how well you think you've done. And whether you do that daily or weekly, you really must take the time and make a conscious effort to appreciate how far you've come. Even just to be sat here watching this video, considering taking the plunge into a new project or putting your artwork out there, whether to a gallery or on social media even. So as you begin to move forward and gain momentum, don't forget to look back and see how far you've come. Also see what progress you've made. The stronger and more equipped that you become in life, it's often really easy to just forget and don't appreciate how far you've come um, and it's only when you kind of sit back and you then you can kind of go do you know what I've really really worked hard and I've achieved so much in this past year and I can be really proud of myself and a lot of us kind of forget that when we very first started this creative journey the people that we were when we first started like the people who we are now compared to the people that we were when we first started they you know we are those idols you know, if you think back, the people that we wanted to be are the people we are now. They are the people that we always dreamed to be. So the worst thing you can probably do is completely miss all that growth and accomplishment. And you really need to celebrate those small victories. Make sure you prioritize giving yourself that time to reflect. And as I said, this can be however you, you wish to do it, with your affirmations, with your journal, um, with your friends and family. Just show you the gratitude of growth and appreciation. And I know that can sound really sort of airy, but I think it's really, really important. And obviously one last thing, if you need to hear this, you've got this and you'll smash it. And I'm so proud of you. I really hope that you've learned something from this video. I really hope that it's kind of encouraged you to take a bit of a plunge. Um, I'm very, very cold and sat in the garden right now. And um, yeah, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you have, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, it's a small community, but we're growing very quickly. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.